Every year we go out to the agencies and ask them to prepare for a different scenario. We always ask them to prepare what we think could be the toughest scenario in terms of what the biggest cuts would be. Typically we ask them for a certain, you know, prepare for this. We haven't ever had to take the big, the, the, the percentage cuts we've asked them to prepare. But it's helpful for us and for them to go through and say, here's what we would have to cut. The reality in, in our state budget is always this. If you have the natural increases that happen basically with 10 care and with K-12 education, they eat up more than any new revenue we would bring into the state. So we have to make adjustments to other places or it doesn't work. We don't have the money to pay it. We have to balance our budget every year. 10 care goes up a certain amount. K-12 does. That eats up more than the amount of new money we have. And so we have to continuously be doing, be doing that in our departments or we couldn't pay our bills. And we, unlike Washington, we have to balance our budget every year. I think we'd, uh, we've asked for five as the highest that we've asked for in the past. I don't know that there's necessarily a message in there except for this. If you remember, we had some revenue challenges last year. So we're we're going to be budgeting very conservatively. So far to date, we're getting ready to announce our September revenue numbers. Our revenue for this year so far has been good, but it's early in the process. But I think it's because we had some revenue challenges last year, it's responsible for us now to, to, to say, let, let's look at a, a very tough case scenario for the budget. How would we prepare for that?